Hey there, it's Lori here. I am stopping in today to show you a new favorite set of mine um, from Concord and Ninth. This is the Sophisticated Script Stamp Set. And I, like many of my crafty friends, have been uh, trying to learn lately how to brush letter and um, I am not good at it. I don't like my handwriting and um, I'm trying to learn and I'm not going to quit, but for the meantime, this set is genius. Um, I posted the other day um, on Instagram just an envelope in my last name and it's fun to see um, how many people are as excited about it as I am. So I thought I would stop in and just show you how to make the perfect envelope. Um, if you saw on Jennifer McGuire's blog, I was a guest over there, did a video about my little mailing station, and since the video I've added two things, of course this stamp set now stays in here, and the other thing is this letter mate, which is just um, an envelope addressing guide. It just gives you the perfect template for a, a nice straight address on your envelope. So with these two additions, I just thought I'd stop in and show you how I use them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the letter mate and put it on the bottom of the envelope. This is basically would be where the name goes, the street address, city, state, and then the zip at the bottom. That, that way you just kind of know how your address is going to be laid out. So obviously I'm going to leave the top one blank and I'm going to fill in from here down. Again, my handwriting isn't fantastic, but the straight lines just make it look so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and use a fake address. Okay, so I'm going to start on the second line down because the first one then is is for the name. And I'm just going to write in a fake address. This is where I wish I lived. Happy Street, Denver, Colorado. <laughs> The lines here at the bottom kind of give an even spacing for the numbers. And if you look on Pinterest, just um, search for letter mate, you can see all different examples of how people do this. And I like this with the little bullet points in between the envelopes. So there you have a perfectly spaced, straight lined address. And again, if your handwriting isn't great like mine, um, it still looks good. So now I'm going to take this set. Again, it's called Sophisticated Script Stamp Set. And I'm going to spell out my friend Michelle's name because she asked me to type hers out the other day. And I'm going to start laying out these letters. Okay. So when you kind of have an idea of how many letters, obviously you're not going to get a really good spacing because these are going to be really close together. But this way I know that the G and the U are going to be in the center. So I'm going to just put these right here up above. And I'm going to start with the G. And then I'm going to build out from that. And the way these attach, the, the thin line, the thin tail on the end of the letter can just be hidden in the thick side of the front of the next letter. And these don't have to line up really perfectly because they're supposed to be, they're brush letters, so they're, it can be a little off or a little crooked and it still looks amazing. So again, the end of the S is going to go right into the thick side of the O. And then in the N, I'm going to just kind of tilt that a little bit to make the end of her name. Now I'm going to go back in with the R, the, the thin point then will go into the top of the G. And the E, I'm going to angle down and match up the thin line of the E with the thin line of the R. 
And then the last is the F. And that one I stamped a little crooked, but if you take a black pen and just round that out, you can't even tell. So it just stamps out the perfect name. It looks like you did it yourself. And then of course you have the straight lines with the letter made at the bottom and it makes for actually a really quick envelope. I wondered at first about lining these up, but they line up really well. And it's just a fun, fun addition if you're going to send some happy mail. And I thought I'd show you one more. I, I'm going to just um, quickly write out my last name. I always put these right back on all inky. And then I can clean the whole uh, stamp set with my absorber here when I'm done. So the L then, I'm going to tip it just a little bit and make sure that, that the I goes right into the L and then the L's can line up as well. I'm going to add another I and of course this will go up a little higher. I'm going to drop the S down just a tiny bit. And the last one is the N. So I think that's so fun. It, it just takes all the work out of trying to do it yourself. So that's it. If you head over to my blog, uh, there's some details for um, a giveaway from Concord and Ninth. Um, if you have questions, definitely email me and head over to Concord and Ninth and check out their amazing stamps. Thanks so much for stopping in today. Have a great day.